everyone, my name is Lexi Johnson and welcome to Future Play. And in today's episode, we're gonna be talking about Machina sports. What are they and what can we expect from them? Let's go. I think one of the most important things before we start to talk about anything technology is to get to know what is Machina Sports really. And maybe the best way to start is a little, you know, exercise, how to actually pronounce it. It's Machina. Machina. Kinda sounds Japanese if I say it quick. Machina. Machina. So again, what is Machina Sports? Machina Sports is a new exhilarating sporting category which groups together all sports that involve the use of machines or technology as integral components. It emphasizes the fusion of human athleticism with non-human elements, such as drones, jetpacks, AR technology and more. And this is pretty clear, but what are the most popular Machina Sports? Some popular Machina Sports have already gained widespread popularity, such as FPV drones and FPV drone racing, which is run on a global scale by organizations such as Multi GP, DCL, DRL and FAI. The other sports are lesser known and the athletes actually practicing them do it more for the love of the sport rather than anything else. Things such as robot soccer, autonomous car racing, jet surfing or even flying car racing. But what sets Machina sports apart from normal sports? The sports that we are used to watch or practice are mostly connected with humans and human limits, while Machina sports allow us to do a little bit more than that. The use of machines allows us to make a lot of things better, faster, go farther and do more. But it also allows us to connect things such as STEM projects and STEM topics with an actual sporting experience. So Machina Sports allows you to combine not only your physical possibilities, but also your mind. Okay, but what is driving the force behind the raised popularity of Machina Sports? I cannot speak for everyone on the planet Earth, but in my opinion, the raising popularity of Machina Sports is the fact that we have reached the limit of human performance. We cannot really physically do much more than we are already. And even though we are watching still normal sports, we want to watch them for more of a personality of people rather than for actual sporting experience. I may be wrong in here, this is what I'm doing personally. But Machina Sports also sets us apart because it gets into our little sci-fi and nerdy brains because we all want those flying cars, we all want really fast racing, the drone racing, LEDs all over the place, robots just going after each other, playing soccer with robots and I mean there's so many possibilities and brand new things that we haven't really seen before and that are getting us excited because they're new. And if you just got interested in all of those things and you are wondering, okay, but how do I get involved in Machina Sports? Well, there's a lot of things that you can do. Number one is to obviously find out what you would like to do personally and find some groups that are already interested in the same type of a topic. I would go to Facebook or general RC groups, maybe Reddit and things like this, and just start asking the right questions and asking like, hey, how do I get involved? How can I start doing this or that? There's a lot of things all over the internet that will teach you how to get into it and some of the sports are actually not that expensive to start with. If you do a little bit of a research when it goes to Machina Sports, you will probably notice that a lot of those things fly and there's a lot of things going on that are connected with aviation. But are those things dangerous? I mean, there's jetpacks, flying cars, drones, drone soccer, things like that. Isn't it... A little bit scary. Most of the organizers of Machina Sports and the athletes are doing their best to ensure that it's as safe as possible. The engineering team behind the flying cars are making sure that everything is absolutely safe and according to the law. The same goes to drone racing, drone soccer and jetpacks. There's a whole team that is just created to ensure that everything is safe. So in worst case scenario, of course, accidents will happen, but it is mostly up to the user to ensure the safety. Now, who is Future Play and what do they have to do with Machina Sports? First of all, Machina Sports are not that new. Some of those sports have been around for more than 20 years. For example, did you know that the first Robot Wars have actually happened in 1998? Wow. 
but to this date, although really popular, some of those sports didn't really get any type of real identity. Why is this a problem? Because without this type of identity, most of those sports don't really make it to mainstream media. Because what is it? Is it esports? Is it Robot Wars? Is it like, what are you actually doing with yourself? Can you like give us a hint that fits in one, two words? Future Play is an iGaming and entertainment brand that is willing to change exactly that. Starting with futureplay.news, Future Play is going to invest time and money to raise awareness of all Machina sports, no matter how big or small, and create content and products that in the future will bring all of those sports to the masses. Want to know more? Head over to futureplay.news and follow Future Play on all of the available social media platforms on which we will actually be interviewing athletes and teaching you more about Machina Sports. And by the way, all of the links are down below in the description box. But since we're on it, leave me a comment down below and let me know what is your favorite Machina Sport and maybe your favorite athlete. Maybe we're gonna learn something really cool and invite this person for an interview. Because hey, I love talking to people and I love talking to you. Thank you very much for watching and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Stay awesome! Bye!